Hey guys, this is Rod and welcome back to a new Minecraft video. Today, as you can see behind me, I have a really old friend that I used for one of my first command tutorials that I did on this channel. And yes, it's right, this is the canon in vanilla Minecraft. But in today's video, I'm not going to show you guys how you can remake this in a newer version of Minecraft. That is not the point of the video. As you can see from the title of the video, today I have improved this canon and I made it work on players as well. Now I used for this one I used a new feature that was introduced in Minecraft 1.9. This means that it will work from Minecraft 1.9 version and also in the newer versions that came out after Minecraft 1.9. So for example as you can see now today I am in Minecraft 1.11.2 and it works as well. Uh, and let me guys demonstrate to you that it works. So as you can see here I have a really nice cannon and if I stand in front of it right here and if I try to jump look at what happens. So as you can see, it launched me in the air really, really fast. And as you can see, it launched me really, really far from it. Now, a really cool thing about this cannon is that it is 100% customizable. The power of this cannon is 100% customizable, meaning that you can make it uh, less powerful than what you saw just now or more powerful than that. You can make it launch you even, I don't know, maybe thousands of blocks away. I didn't try it because it would make my world lag a lot. But you guys, if you have really powerful beasts computers, you can try it as well. So let me show you guys another application that I did using the same mechanic. And this time I have used it to create a player launcher, meaning that you have a hidden mechanic here. So as you can see, if I try, oh, let me activate these line of coin blocks first. So now if I stand on this block here and I try to jump, you can see that it launched me in the air and also generated some uh, really nice particles there. Right guys, so let me show you guys how what mechanic it adds. So maybe some of you guys already know how it works. And yes, the way it works is by using the new collision feature that was added in Minecraft 1.9. So as you can see here, I have a lot of invisible horses that are in the same exact spot. And as you know, with the new collision feature, every time that a player hits a mob, it can be a horse or a villager, any type of mob, every time that we hit it, it will push us away a bit. But as you know, uh, it doesn't push us as this cannon did because it's not really powerful. But if we concentrate a lot of mobs in the same exact spot, that power will be multiplied. And as you can see, it will push us away really really far look at how powerful it is now i'm going to show you guys also how you can create this and how you can create it more or less powerful than my cannon so let me deactivate this and let me activate this other line of common blocks let me remove the entities and let me show you guys how you can create one of these into your world as well okay guys i'm back i removed all of the entities as you can see i i am currently in game mode 3 and, and there are no entities in front of me now the first step that you guys have to do of course you can build the cannon you can make it look how you guys want you you will find the tutorial on how to build this in the card that uh, I mentioned you before. And now what you have to do, you start by placing two barrel blocks on the sides of the cannon at this height. So they have to be, they need to be two blocks high compared to the height of the cannon. And why I place these barrel blocks is because, oh my God, the reason why I place these barrel blocks is because when a player jumps, sometimes he can be pushed even on the sides of the horse. So it, the players can be launched even in those um, in those other directions. So by placing these blocks here, we just make sure that the player is launched in only one direction. Then what you have to do, you go in the description of this video, you will be forwarded to my webpage, and on my webpage you will find all the commands that I use in this video. So take the first one from my webpage, place a command block in front of the cannon in this exact position, and make sure that you set it on repeat, uh, unconditional and then you set it on always active after uh, after you paste the command inside now if you click on done the more we leave this command here activated the more entities it will generate and the more powerful this cannon into, uh, will be now I have a lot of entities as you can see there are 426 entities loaded in front of me which means that this time I made it even more powerful than the one before if you want to make it less powerful you leave this command block here to generate um, less time so you leave it for a couple of seconds and the, the cannon will be less powerful and the more powerful you want it to be the more you leave this command block activated and therefore it will generate more and more entities now this cannon can work even without these other command blocks the simplest way you can create them is by just using this command block here to generate the invisible horses and that's it but if you want to improve it and add some particles or sound effects just follow the steps that I am doing. 
So the first thing that we have to detect is the, the place, the exact block where a player is when he jumps off and gets launched by the cannon. The way we do it is really simple. We look at the block and we check for the coordinates uh, in this exact part of the debug screen. So you can see that we are looking at these coordinates. You copy them and you change them in the command that I will leave in the, on my webpage, okay? Here where you see x equals minus 374, maybe your x will be different than mine. So you change the x, y and z coordinates inside the command. And this is really simple, it's a uh, simple execute command that detects when a player jumps in this exact block and if a player jumped it, it will play the explode sound. Now one step that you have to do before is to create this scoreboard objective which I named Canon and which is a stat.jump scoreboard. Now this means that this automatically updates every time that a player jumps. So in this case we are able to detect when a player jumps and th therefore we are able to generate for example the sounds and particle effects. Then the second one is the exact same command, but instead of playing the sound, we are going to generate a, some huge explosion particles. And the last one is uh, going to reset the cannon scoreboard to all the players that have jumped. So in this case, it doesn't remain to one and it doesn't generate uh, particles and plays the uh, explode sound again and again. And that's pretty much it. That's how you create a working player launcher or player cannon in vanilla Minecraft. So let's test this out because I want to see how powerful it is. And one strange thing that I saw is that if you are in F5 mode, the particles are not generated. You can't, can't see them. But if you are not, if you are in first person mode, the particles are generated. So again, the more you leave that common block there to generate horses, the more powerful these cannon will be and if you want to remove the entities the invisible horses you go close to them and you type in chat this command slash kill at the name equals cannon uh, radius equals equals five and you hit enter and it will kill all of the entities and in this case the cannon will stop working basically see if i jump it will still generate the particles because these commands are still active but it will not launch me because of course the horses are making this possible so guys, that was about today's command creation. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. It's a really simple one, but yet fun uh, command creation and you can make players be launched. I don't know. I don't know what is the limit of this. I think that is maybe your frame rate is the limit. I don't know how powerful you can make these cannons, but I don't know. Maybe let me know in the comment section down below, guys, how powerful you made them and how many blocks you shoot uh, yourselves away from these cannons. And as always guys, I want to thank you all for watching this video until the end and I'll see you all in the next one. See you. Bye.